the city of the sun You could have stayed, it's only over when the day is done I never knew you was a runner, yeah And I mistook you for a son It don't matter what we think when it's all over Cause this is our last time Is it fun? Fun. Fun. <laughs> After me. Ready? Happy. Oops. Happy. New. 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 Today is July 22nd, 2024. It is 2.53 a.m. This is video number two. Video number one was on our Beauty in Sussex. It was a very short one because I was looking for tweets to share with you. I didn't have much. So I have about 14 tweets to share with you here. Most of them, hopefully I go through them really quick. But uh, some of them could easily be on... Um, our part of pure service because there are things about Invictus that are oh. being discussed so I'm just gonna put them over here all right so let's look at some numbers before I go on Twitter let me grab the link I might have at least 14 or 15 I think I added one more on the list but I didn't change the number all right so let's look at the subscription 3,949 subscribers new subscribers welcome and don't forget to uh, check my uh, merch i have wedge shop and one on zazzle the zazzle one if i had come across it uh, before i saw um sweatshop that's where i would have put all of my merch but um since i already have uh spread shop up it's you know it make no difference if i remove it or keep it but i i like to keep things in one place but it's already there i'm just gonna leave it there where i have some t-shirt cups whatnot and on zazzo i try to focus mostly on uh puzzles but i will add more items onto my shop okay so let's look at the numbers like i said we checked that already estimate revenue 32 dollars 29 cents analytics okay 1418 views in the last 48 hours so there was a pick here on saturday what did i have i don't remember i guess it was this video let's see was that today 
yeah it went up all right so let's go on twitter all right first tweet there's a lot of politics being discussed uh with the squad and everything but i'm gonna try to avoid it unless there's some major thing that i need to say then i'll go on politics and that will be on our team sussex not on this channel but a lot of discussion is on politics and as you probably already know president biden had already um withdrawn his win nomination he endorsed uh vice president kamala harris okay so let's continue here well 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 carlos alcovez is a squaddy he passes his downtime like any other 20 year old he plays video games and part to improve his english he watches american tv he lists suits among his favorite benches <laughs> among his favorite benches oh that's from spot illustrator so i'll leave the link you guys could read it okay i'll leave it on um the description okay Alcaraz, I hope I pronounced his name correctly, even the leftover left behinds or squatters. Now I know it wasn't his tennis I admire. I like the way he snubbed the grifting Wisteria sisters. Yeah, I have, I, how did I put that video? Was it on a short video where he, I guess, pretend he didn't see Kate and the sister while Kate was trying to introduce the sister to him? All right, even more reason for me to like that young man. Me too. Oh, so did he snub Pip? <laughs> There's that here. Yeah. He was actually very polite and a perfect gentleman. Then Lady Macbeth wanted to <laughs> monopolize him to bring in her grifting family. Like he is really the, the time and place. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, now it's clear. There's all of that. I knew it. It all began to be clear. <laughs> the way the squad are responding i'm starting to like this guy that's an ad so let's go to the next one yeah i have the what is it the how do you call it the short video on that next tweet how many of us will be like this if prince harry was that close to us there's that here look at her face <laughs> this is what harry's energy brings to the people of the world look at her face uh 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 here's that when i saw him in court in london i had to come but inside i was like yes let's look at gif i like her size i think she does work out a little there's a little bit definition in the arm okay omg i'm so jealous possibly if i don't faint first me too i'm not a person that is lost for word but i will be so shocked harry will probably think i'm a mute <laughs> There's the hashtag love Prince Harry and there's the thumbs up. Let's go to the next tweet. Now this one I shared on my community board. I don't know which channel I shared it. It's regarding Nacho. Okay, did you know that Nacho Figueres is not just a polo player and model, but an architect and designer as well? I I doubt it he's an architect, maybe the designer part. I don't know maybe the designer part because the architect takes a lot of uh, schooling and i don't know so i will say the designer part okay figure as design group team with the notable brazilian architect okay Ca uh, carolina porto on the residences of fasano las piedras and the seaside city of puntas del Esta. was it uruguay okay so he's not an architect he works with an architect he probably the designer but he need the architect to do the structural things things that needs to be moved or look over his design to see how it could be secure because to be an architect it's a lot of school i'm not trying to downgrade him please do not come after me i went to architecture school i'm talking from experience well i do not know how it is and uh, in his country so that's a different story here but in the u.s there are a lot of uh, designers who are not architect designers will hire architect to do many things for them that required building department approval where the uh people uh how do they call this inspectors to come and check if you don't have the architecture license you cannot work and do certain things designing things yes it's easy moving things around the furniture things that is not structural things that 
will not uh, uh, how will I say that uh, minimize or what's the term I can't even think of the term now and the integrity of the structure of the building you could see you could look at a wall here and said oh I don't like this wall but you want to remove it it's not that easy to just remove the wall you have to be able to understand what's on top of it okay is it holding something okay everything is connected a building is connected with each other now you have to look at the drawing and you have to be able to read the drawing the blueprint to see where that wall is is it structurally sound is that wall holding something above you cannot just go and knock it down so he could say this is my design okay now the architect have to look at his design and see if it's feasible feasible meaning is it can it be done or if you remove a wall what are you gonna do to replace it to still hold what's above okay so i'm talking from experience i'm not licensed though i went to architecture school i already sent my papers to take my new york license and everything but i never took it all right they changed the rules that's what sort of discouraged me a little i don't know if they changed the rule now the rule for um that was a couple of years ago again that's when um, i was fully aware things change all the time it might change from the time you're listening to this here the rule was i think there are about 12 uh out I don't know how many sections they have anymore but there's a lot of section there's design there's structure there's all sort of things different sections within just like when you're taking well I don't know about uh, I was gonna compare it with boy exam or maybe doctor maybe there's different section I don't know but for the architecture there's different section you have to be able to do zoning do calculation for zoning when zoning meaning that the area that you live in there's rules and regulation you have to follow how big your footprint of the building could be in that particular uh place or block or residence or something like that the neighborhood how high can you go because when you go to a certain uh area you will see all the buildings are almost the same height some might be couple feet uh, lower than the other but there's a maximum for all of this so you have to be able to do that okay and then there's structure and there's all sort of things you have to do so the thing that discouraged me when you take the test and it's not cheap it's not a cheap uh, thing it's because I lose interest in it that's why I didn't even bother um, when you take one section you pay a couple hundred dollars to take it let's say you pass everything but there's one section you you cannot pass but it takes in, it's taking you a while to pass it let's say they give you i think they get at that time i think they give you five years to finish everything all the sections okay you could fail it but you take it again but within that what the minute you start the clock start ticking and you have five years to finish everything else let's say you have one section to finish and you cannot pass it the five years come you start all over again this is what pretty much discouraged me and i'm like oh my god and there have been so many other things that uh, discouraged me if i was really 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 into it i would have done it but um i i don't know if it's excuse or whatever you could call me out or whatever it is it's just it didn't fit well with me with that so i don't know if the rule changed now but uh, that's that so i don't think he's an architect he might be a designer but not an architect again and the u.s is different from different countries there are people that's this guy i think he came from philippine he was high up there whatever in the philippine but he could not just go and take the test he needed experience and he needed to do some other things uh to get up to the level of the u.s kind of a system he was working in the last firm that i worked for he was pretty good he knows his stuff but uh you know there's remember building is gonna housing people if you're doing stupid things and you put the size of a beam or a column beam or a column or a post 
that's gonna hold how many levels above you you have to be able to do those calculations usually architects send these type of things to engineers okay because they do not want to be blamed when something fell okay when they to to find out how big a beam or a column should be the structure the bone of the building okay many architects they could do it themselves but many of them prefer sending it to an engineer who really specified on this type of work to look into it if something fell they don't blame them okay so that's that <laughs> um and some of you might come after me thinking I'm putting him down. I'm not putting him down. He could easily be an architect, okay? I'm not trying to discredit him, but I think he works with an architect to help him with his design. This is what I meant by that. Um, but I think he works with an architect. Uh, I think, what's the person's name? I read the um, thing. Carolina Porto. I think she's an architect. So... That's what I'm saying. She, he could easily be an architect, but I think he's more of a designer. You know, let me just leave it as that. So let's get back to the original recording. All right, so let's read this here. Polo House by Nacho Figueres at Fasano Las Piedras. Okay, uh, my <laughs> Spanish pronunciation is horrible. Exclusive and sophisticated projects, spacious residence of 440 meters square with three suit and 600 meter square with uh, five suit get to know the option of the real estate development with residences and lots for more details information please contact there's the phone number here okay argentine athlete on making the leap to designing luxury home okay so he's a designer not an architect Nacho Figueras on his latest project and you will agree his love of the beach and of course being a polo star. That was back in 2022. Okay, Mr. Figueras with his recent luxury residential project, Composite Delfina Blaquier, courtesy of Douglas Lima Realty. All right, so let's see here. Uh, the polo house by Nacho Figueras located at Fasano Las Piedras a design by Mr. Figueras in partnership with Carolina Porto from Obra Prima Studio. There it is. He partnered with Carolina Porto. That's the person he works with. So he probably designed certain things and then he works with that particular person, Carolina, and uh, see if his design, uh, whatever he's thinking, is feasible. It can be done. This kind of thing. That's what I think um, his uh, thing here his position in that all right so the polo houses include one 4700 square feet residence complete with three suit and 6500 square feet residence with five suit residences also include a staff room large wrapper round terrace complete with custom perillas dining and barbecue pit and a large private pool the polo houses overlook the polo field designed by see he's the designer Okay, that's what I thought. He's the designer. By Nacho Figueras and the 18-hole Arnold Palmer golf course, perfectly framed by floor-to-ceiling glass and oversized window overlook the landscaped vista and parcel or around acres. Although polo houses can be built on large parcel ranging spanning 3 through 13 acres, Fasano Las Piedras is located in the La Barra region of Punta del Este, Uruguay, a nature preserve offering complete privacy, spacious expenses, and mirage expenses. The Ice Wheelfield Design Hotel is now expanded and available for international buyers for purchase lot complete with designer residences, villas, and estate developed by JHSF that champion the integration between the countryside and the sea surrounded by open air gardens spanning 480 hectares and designed with breathtaking natural landscape and contour fasano las piedras includes an arnold palmer golf course natural figures design polo courses esquian center swimming pool spa and kids club tennis court 
and river club with 150 meters of private beach, organic garden, and all the infrastructures of the award-winning Fasano Hotel. There's that here. So he's the designer, and then probably give it to the architect to do all the other stuff. Probably choose the materials, what he needs to be placed, and all of that. Okay. So there's that. Interesting. I didn't know this. Oh my gosh. I've been there. There's that. There's this. another real cool job for him. And he's Harry's true brother. The one that supports him and has his back. A wonderful guy. There's the thumbs up. Oh my God. I spent too much time talking about architecture and the thing is very short. All right. So that's that. Let's go to the next tweet. Okay. So there's this here. The late queen and Megan share a close bond and no one, nothing can ever change that. Yeah, the, the others got really jealous about that. There's that. Okay, Queen Elizabeth loved Megan's work ethic. She was also astute enough to see that Megan was the key to modernize that relic of a monarchy. Too bad Charles, William and Kate and Camilla were petty and jealous. The lazy leftovers knew they couldn't compete where they don't compare. I, and they, they're so stupid too. They could easily stand. Well, then again, if you want popularity, you want to be in the front and center. It's like a domino effect, each thing that I said. You want front and center, but you're doing stupid things. You, you want to be applauded, but you're not doing anything. So I, I don't know. I, I can't wrap my head around any of this nonsense. Okay, I believe the late queen left Megan with gem receipt. Back or front, love looking at Megan. There's a thumbs up. Correct, true talk. Oh, there they are. The queen carefully listening to Megan on how to do her job. The other thing I was thinking, there's a video of uh, Queen Elizabeth walking in one of those palaces and Mumbo was next to her. And as soon as she says something and the Queen says something like, um, I don't approve of that. Like she, uh, Mumbo interrupted the Queen and then the Queen shut. Let's go to the next one. Someone had sh shared that video. I think I have it somewhere. I have to look for it. Next tweet. There's that. Princess Diana and Princess Megan. Look at them. They love kids. That smile just remind me when Princess Diana hugged that little boy who was waiting for her before she got in her car. There's Megan and that little girl. Okay. That's a different language. That's a different language. There's the heart. If you could read it, there it is here. Next one. These are the things the squad are posting because there's a lot of discussion regarding politics. Next one. I've said often through especially the last few years of my life, my faith is greater than my fear. Whether that's faith in yourself or faith in God or faith in something bigger, whatever it is, it has to be bigger than your fear. Megan, the Duchess of Sussex. God bless you, Princess Megan. You're truly a godsend for our sense of self-worth and self-confidence. All right, so there's that here. Okay, amen, amen. There's that. I just love her. A worthwhile lesson for us all. Thank you, Duchess Megan. All right, so let's go to the next tweet. This is another one. They're posting a vision. So let's that. I didn't put that on my list, but while I'm looking for there, you could check it out. Next one. Oh my God, it's already 3.13. I need to start editing. Okay, she's kindly mindful of those with limitation, Princess Megan. So that was during the Invictus uh, Dusseldorf. There they are here. Okay, there's no comment. There's 35 retweet, but she shut her comment down. All right, so let's go to the next tweet. There's that. And this one also shut her comment down, 39 retweet as well. Okay, from my perspective, I fell head over heel in love with her because my heart told me that she was the one I was going to spend the rest of my life with. And then, once I got to know her even more, my head then told me, well, she is absolutely perfect for the role as well. Alright. I mean, every... I don't know. <sighs> you could see when he's in public, he's always looking and... Yeah, he didn't, no wonder why he, so many things going in my head, I don't even know how to articulate it, because I don't think he was living his best life 
around the people, even some of his family. Well, I, I don't know. I don't know. He had a very strange life. That's all I know. All right. And I think right now he's definitely living his true life right now. Okay. So that's it. Let's move on. There's no comment. I don't want to go to 39 retreats to be what they say. There's that. Prince Harry drives an all-terrain vehicle during a visit to Lenten military camp 2015. His strength, courage, passion, and empathy never ceases to amaze me. All right. So there's that here. Yeah, he loved to be in the military. Well, at that time, but now he has a different focus. Because I remember in one of those videos, I think it's, was it Netflix or something? Where he was walking with a group of guys who actually he invited to his house and they went hiking. And one of the discussion he was having with them was that um, he d when he was in uh, the military, he didn't want to have any kids. He didn't want to start a family. He, I mean, this is a guy who truly thinks step by step. It's like, there's no way I could have a family while I'm in the military. And, I mean, I'm paraphrasing now. So, he doesn't know how the others um, do it. I think from talking to other people, listening to their problems, their families, and things like that. And he's like, I don't want that for myself. What helped you to understand that position that you were in? Uh, spending 10 years in the military was one. <laughs> And what did that do for you? Um, I think it, uh, I wouldn't say it changed my outlook on life, but there were certainly experiences that I went through during those 10 years that not only was I surrounded by normal people on a day-to-day -day basis and being able to share and talk about everyday issues that they were going through, but it was, it was a grounding moment for me as well. You know, wearing the same uniform as, as all of the people that I was serving with, getting an opportunity to, to, to serve your country uh, on operations, but also being part of a family. And that's not just the, the guys and the girls that were wearing the uniform, but also the, the wives, the girlfriends, the, ch the kids. That whole network of support um, was, 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 was huge. But I think, yeah, I think my understanding of, of service and duty became really, really ingrained or it was given to me by, by my service in the military because that's, that's what it's all about. And you're, you're taking young people from some of the, some of the most deprived cities and, and, and towns across the UK for the British Armed Forces, and I, I know it's the rest for, for the rest of the world as well, but you're taking some, of the, some, some people who've had some really, really hard upbringings and, and, and hard backgrounds, and you're training them to be ambassadors. You're training them to be fighters, but you're training them to be to be brothers in arms with each other as well. And I think that's an incredibly powerful tool to be able to, to do. And I have a huge amount of respect for, for anybody, whatever their background is, to be able to, to, to serve your country like that. Well, we're gonna so he waited until he finished and then everything, the stars were aligned. All right, next tweet. Prince Harry Spare 2014. Quote, just on the numbers and victors was a hit. Two million people watch on TV. Thousand filled the arena for each event. Among the highlights was the wheelchair rugby final, Britain versus USA. Thousand cheering Britain to victory in the copper box. All right, so there's that. All right, there's the clap. It's tweets like this the squad have been posting. And then uh, a lot of the squad are talking politics right now next one okay prince harry behind the scenes at the invictus games 2014. um it's almost like a rock store right there look at this all the people there and he took it to another level all right so there's no comment but one retweet let's go to the next tweet this is why i said some of these could have easily be on our part of pure service but all right next one so there's this here now this is news to me i don't know if it's true i've already posted on my community board on our uh, our part of your service and i said i did not come across where espn i don't know if tsn is the same thing as espn in the u.s is it sports center hockey i don't see espn here i'm reading this right here i'll move the screenshot over here so, but this person is saying ESPN will broadcast the next Invictus game live as well, hopefully. Oh, she said hopefully. She doesn't know. She doesn't know. Okay. So, she said hopefully. And that's why I said uh, allegedly on my community, but because I didn't see any place else. I, I didn't see the hopefully part here. But this one is a fact. 
TSN part here. The Invictus Games are coming to TSN and CTV. Bell Media is proud to be the official Canada broadcast partner of the Invictus Games 25. Alright, it's 30 seconds. If there is a music, I'm gonna change it. Okay, let's listen. And there will be some screenshots in between. Hi. Yeah, there's a music, so I might as well just mute it. I'll put my own music. Alright, so there's that. <laughs> I remember when Harry this was trying is it. The future. Okay, so that's that. I'm gonna start all over again. What was it? What day did the I see? Oh, uh, it's 16.25. 16. Am I reading? Really? Okay, February 8th. Okay. Okay, February 8th through 16, 2025. Okay, fantastic news. So happy for all. There's that. There's this. Gravy train. I don't know what they mean by that. And this is my last one. Okay. My last tweet. Uh, why Prince Harry flying upside down? That's him here. Oh, I can't. When I was young, my brother used to do this, and I was always saying to do it again. Now forget it. I will end up in the hospital. <laughs> that's that. Okay, so that's it. Let's do a prayer. Um, Let's do a prayer. Prayer for, let's say peace. That's all I'm thinking. I'm thinking peace on earth. I don't know if it will come. Let's see here. Let me put peace on earth. If something completely different popped up, I'll move on earth. Peace on earth. Let's see here. Okay, here are some prayers for peace on earth. A prayer for our earth. All powerful God, you are present in the whole universe and the smallest of your creatures. You embrace with your tenderness all that exists. Pour out upon us the power of your love that we may protect life and beauty. Fill us with peace that we may live as brothers and sisters, harming no one. Our Lord God Almighty, may there be peace in celestial region. May there be peace on earth. May the waters be appeasing. May herbs be whole form. May herbs be wholesome. And may trees and plants bring peace to all. Okay, I'll leave it as that, but what got me here, where is it here? Pull out upon us the power of your love that we may protect life and beauty. Okay, this part here, life and beauty. So that's it. Please take a moment to subscribe, like, and share. If you want to support this channel, there's a PayPal link and a Cash App link in the description. You could donate. Those who have donated, thank you. Don't forget to check my merch, one that's connected with this channel and Zazo, the link is in the description. When I get a chance, I'll figure out how I could connect Zazo or link, should I say, Zazo with uh, all of my other channels that are in the monetization program. These are ways you could help support my channel. And someone suggests about membership, I'm thinking about it, it will be another option for those who want to, okay? So that's it, thank you for watching.